Hello, welcome to Keep Your Thrive Alive. I'm Mark Mulligan, and this is a space where I share inspiration, tips, and ideas to boost your mood, your energy, and your well being. Today, I want to explore some of the challenges many of us face and share a simple exercise to help you and the people who are most important to you in your life to feel better in the moment, connect more with others, and feel more optimistic about the future. Being a coach and running resilience workshops and reaching out to people to find out what's really going on for them, I have lots of conversations with people about what they're finding difficult at the moment. Whilst every person is different and everyone's situation is unique, I would say that it falls into three distinct areas. Thinking, feeling and doing. What I would like to do is to share with you a simple technique that you can do anywhere, anytime, by yourself or with others to help manage how you respond to the current reality so that you can feel better today, connect more with those around you and feel more optimistic about the future. This is an exercise I've done by myself, with my family, with my friends, my team, and I'm always pleasantly surprised by how effective it is. So what is it? It's called Rose Thorn Bud. All you need to do is to take some time to think about three things. Rose, one thing that you're grateful for today. Thorn, one thing that you're finding difficult or challenging today. And bud, one thing that you're looking forward to, either today or tomorrow. Let's take each one in turn and flesh it out a little bit more. Rose, think about something that you're grateful for. Now it could be the big things in your life, like your health or your family or your home or your financial security, or it could be the small things, like the coffee that you just had, or the sunny day, or the bird that you just saw outside, or the smile of the person in the supermarket. A key to getting the most benefit from the exercise is the more specific you can be about the thing, the more beneficial it is. Example, the Robin Redbreast splashing around washing himself in the bird bath this morning. Reflecting on things that we were grateful for makes us feel better in the moment, but it also has an impact on our neurology and how we are wired. The average person has between 12,000 and 80,000 thoughts in a given day, and for most of us, 80% of those are negative. There are strong evolutional reasons for this. When we were hunter-gatherers, not identifying a risk could have resulted in death, and therefore, we all have an inbuilt negative bias. The simple exercise of consciously reflecting on and sharing the things you're grateful for helps rewire our brains and shift that bias to be overall more positive. Thorn, next reflect on something that you're finding difficult. Now again, this could be the big things in your life like concern for your own health or that of your loved ones or concern about your livelihood now or in the future. Or it could be the small things, like your hair is annoying you because you haven't been able to have it cut or coloured in a long time. Maybe you're really missing something like a coffee in your favourite cafe or a pint in your local pub. Big or small, it doesn't matter. The thing that's important is that it's difficult for you. This is a reality check. A chance to say how it is for you today. What you're finding difficult might only be a moment in time, but by sharing it and naming it how it is that you're feeling, you're much more likely to move on. As human beings, we have a tendency to want to suppress unpleasant emotions in the hope that they will go away. However, the opposite tends to be true. Suppressing tends to lock in those emotions. Also, being open and sharing what you're finding difficult gives others permission to do the same. We respect others for their capabilities, but we connect with them because of their vulnerabilities. The final part of the game is bud. Now, this is something that you're looking forward to, and we're not talking about years or months into the future. We're talking about today or tomorrow, something that's within your sights. With all the ambiguity and uncertainty about the future, it's so easy to get lost in possibility, where this is focusing on what is within your reach. The 18th century great wit Sidney Smith famously said, in times of crisis, take the short view. So take the short view. What have you planned? Or what is it that you're expecting to do in the next 24 hours? What is it that you're looking forward to? This works on so many levels. Firstly, it helps us focus on something positive. Secondly, it takes your attention away from what you can't control to what you can. And finally, it helps you to be more present and aware of the small things that give you joy. So I hope you find it useful to explore a simple game that you can play alone or with friends, family and colleagues to help you to feel better today, connect more with those around you and feel optimistic about the future. Now I'd love to hear from you. Please leave your comments in the section below. What are your rose, thorn and bud today? Who could you play this game with and what did you find most useful? If you'd like to find out more about how to create a healthy culture in your workplace and help your colleagues to thrive more of the time, please get in touch. We've worked with tens of thousands of people and helped them to improve their own well-being and make it contagious with their colleagues and their loved ones. Click the contact button below and let's have a chat about how it is that we can help. I look forward to seeing you next month and in the meantime, stay safe, be well and thrive.